Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just a little update on my transition and how I'm doing in regards to transitioning. A lot of people on my Facebook will probably know because I'm always putting up statuses and stuff like that. Basically, just telling you guys where I am in regards to my transition. So I said I'd do a little YouTube video just so if there's new people on my channel, they'll know where I am. Basically, I um, went to Lachlanstown, which is the gender clinic in Dublin, and I met with Professor O'Shea. We had a bit of a talk and, you know, I thought maybe I would get onto my uh, testosterone blockers um, that day. This was about two or three weeks ago. But no, I have to wait because um, I want to reproduce my own children. And for me to do so, I'm going to have to freeze my sperm which is a very long process and he said to me that he would um, organize like a meeting with the fertility clinic um, so basically I am waiting on that and then I go back um, on January the 19th for another consultation to see how I'm doing and to see if I was able to get into the fertility clinic. Someone told me it's a really long waiting process so it's just more waiting and for anybody else who's transitioning you'll know like on the medical side especially it's all about waiting it's just waiting 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 and it's really hard it gets really hard but it's something that i want to do i want to reproduce my own children so i chose to go down that path whereas my sister chloe who's also transitioning um has chosen to start her testosterone blockers um because i don't think i'm she doesn't really want to go down the route of freezing her sperm so you know each to their own but for me it was something i really wanted to do and something that maybe me and harry might think about in the future who knows I was also advised not to start um, laser hair removal until I started my estrogen because they kind of go hand in hand and it makes the process easier. Um, like I know I can do it now, but I would just prefer to wait. Um, but still that makes every day such a struggle and so hard to wake up and get so much dysphoria, like seeing stubble and then going to the mirror and having to shave it, you know, it's just like, ugh, I just really hate it. But what can you do, you know? Um, this is the way I was born, this was the journey that I'm supposed to be on, and um, I wouldn't really have it any other way, I don't think. I mean, sometimes I do wish that I was just born like a cisgendered girl, like, and just had a, a normal life, but what is normal, huh? There's always going to be something, so, you know, it's just about staying strong and fighting through it and just, just finding inner peace with yourself, I suppose. I know that sounds a bit, but it's true. Ultimately, I just want to be happy and I just want to be a happy woman. I just want to feel comfortable in myself and I want to feel confident and sexy and you know, all those good things. So yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of where I am at now. Um, and with regards to media and stuff, I think it's just about taking a bit of a break and just chilling out for a while. Um, we've done a lot, I think, and you know, some of it's been positive, some of, it, some of it's been negative, but it's like, it's all been go 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 so it's really nice to just take a break and I just hope over the Christmas um, I can just chill out and just enjoy and relax and get to spend time with the people I love um, and that's kind of like that's my goals for the next couple of months so if you guys have any questions for me feel free to comment below or send me a message or message me on my Facebook or Instagram um, and those links will be in the description below thank you for watching my videos and um, hopefully I'll put up another one really soon as well so Thanks for watching guys.